Hey guys, I'm going to talk to you about some misconceptions that I think people have about private search engines. Um, first of all, um, people think that using private search engines can keep them 100% safe online, and that's just not true. Uh, secondly, um, most people think that you know private search engines are their own company that make their own search engine you know functionality, but that's not true either. They actually most source their search results from other places. Um, then search results from private search, en search engines are poor. People think that they're outdated. They just can't get the same search results if they choose a private search engine. And I'm gonna talk about why that's not true. Um, people think that DuckDuckGo is the only option for that. And that's not true either. Um, people finally think that private search engines can't compete with major search engines. But I think if you look at the last few years, you'll see that that's changed drastically. So first of all, private search engines keep you 100% safe online. Um, anything that says keeps you 100% safe online just isn't telling the truth because, you know, there's always threats and you can't identify those ahead of time. It's just impossible to see everything that could potentially access your data. Um, private search engines are just one way to protect yourself online, but there's you know, thousands of other ways, including VPNs, um, private browsers, and even just staying off the internet completely. Um, second of all, um, private search engines and their results pages and where they come from. Um, as I said, most people kind of assume that search engines all come up with their own algorithms to deliver search results, um, but that's pretty much impossible. If you think about um, Google, which has been around for, you know, over 20 years and how they've kind of changed their search algorithm over time. If you think that, you know, another company could just come in and launch a search engine and just suddenly deliver a similar product, um, I just think that would be very difficult and kind of unrealistic. Next, um, people think that the search results are poor, but as I just said, many private search engines actually source their results from you know Google, Yahoo, or Bing. Um, so the search results are going to be pretty similar, although they won't have the targeting of the results that like Google or Bing would have because they don't have the tracking information of the sites you visited before, so they can't use this to suggest content to you, which solves another issue of filter bubbles, which is kind of the idea that when you use a search engine or social media, the algorithm only delivers content that you would agree with or that you're likely to click on. And that creates a sort of intellectual isolation and can actually, you know, make you think you're correct about something when there's a lot of alternate views out there that you aren't even presented with. Uh, next up, when people think of private search engines, a lot of times people are only aware of DuckDuckGo or people aren't even aware that private search, in, in search engines exist, but really there's a, a ton of options out there. Um, DuckDuckGo is probably the most popular one. Um, there's also Start Page, which is connected to Ixquick, which are two pretty well-known um, private search engines, especially in the privacy realm. Um, there's Quant, which is a French search engine, which is growing recently. Um, search Encrypt is another one. Search Encrypt actually has grown massively, probably more than the other search engines. Um, I noticed in checking just before this that Search Encrypt is like two spots away on the Alexa rankings from Start Page, so Search Encrypt and Start Page are kind of on the same level. Um, and then I guess finally, private search engines, or the misconception that private search engines can't compete with the big search engines, uh, the big three, Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of been proven not to be true recently, just because, um, especially with DuckDuckGo, people have seen that um, private search engines can take a slice out of the big search engines market. Um, people may have thought that, 
you know, Google had the search market perfected, but I think there's so many small players that can take, you know, a little bit at a time away from Google and kind of change the norms online uh, towards privacy. And uh, I think that'd be a good thing just to kind of decentralize that market and to um, kind of put pressure on Google to deliver a more user-friendly experience rather than emphasizing gathering every person's data and using it to serve them ads and various other things that tracking and search engines do that isn't necessarily good. And yep, that's all for today. Thanks.